obviously Andre Onana is the big one coming in from Inter Milan to replace David De Gea, which I think was a long time coming. Um, I was at the game where he let the Ben Rama one slip under him and oof. <laughs> I, 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 I oof. think watching that, I think I was just in shock. I, I was like, like, <laughs> he, like he, he dived. It looked like he dived past it almost and flapped it into the bottom corner. Do you know? And was do like, you know what he looked like? He looked like an FM twenty three goalkeeper. He, <laughs> <laughs> he is the real life FM twenty three yes. goalkeeper. That's what he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm like upper tier at the stadium, and I was at the other end of the ground where the goal went in, and it it took like ten seconds to react because I was like, oh, that's a that's a rubbish shot. Yeah. Wait, it's gone in. <laughs> it was a pr- it was a what? proper pee roller as well, wasn't it? Was, it? it was. It was awful. <laughs> but it was never gone in. Really similar uh, goal that you know in the FA Cup final as well, and I think that was the nail yeah. in the final nail in the coffin for yeah. him. Yeah, and yeah, I, I've got such mixed feelings with David De Gea because there was at one point, and I think six or seven, like five or six years ago, maybe a little bit longer, he was genuinely in the discussion for one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Absolutely. In terms of, sheer like shot stopping ability ability to to keep a team in the game because this that was a period where like, this was pre-bruno united this was uh, chris small at center back man united this like, was like football heritage United. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> football heritage <laughs> there's no h in that <laughs> and he was put he just put in unbelievable performance after unbelievable performance he won i think player of the season like four years out of five or something and he was great and it's just been this it's been quite I don't want to say a drastic change in the way that football is played, but it looks like his confidence got shot because I, I I never remember him being this this bad at like playing out from the back. His distribution was never amazing, mm. but he never seemed completely incompetent. And he like the my big frustration with him over the time has been just his lack of dominance of his goalkeeping area. Phenomenal shot stopper, even though at the minute or like in the last season or two, there's been a load of errors coming in. Yeah, he's always been a player, a, a goalkeeper. Sorry, that seems just like bungee corded to his goal line, and you know, after having goalies like Peter Schmeichel and Van der Sar who dominate their area, they'll come and claim crosses. Like that's their area to see, almost, almost like a meek goalkeeper, like hide away from things and rely on his reflexes to keep the ball out of the net rather than taking charge of a situation. I've said it for ages. I think he causes more issues than he solves with his shot stopping. And now mm. his shot stopping's fallen off. He doesn't look like he could pick up pick a pass. There was only one way it was going, especially when the dude's earning three hundred and fifty grand a year. A yeah, um, I I feel like he never really recovered from. I remember. I think it was either a World Cup or a Euros. Do you remember the Spain yeah. Portugal game? I think it was Ronaldo got the hat trick. Yeah, and he he dropped an absolute clanger for a second. I think it was. Yeah, it was almost. Like, I, think, I think it went through his legs. It was like Tabi esque. It think. was. It was awful. And I think following that, I don't think he ever got back into the Spain squad. No, that was maybe or maybe got a few squads, but he kind of lost his place in the Spain team from that moment on. And I mm. don't really feel like he ever recovered from that. No, no, definitely, and it, and that kind of carried on into club form. And it's one of those things like you you see it so often with goalkeepers like they have a horror game or a hor- like a, a bad international tournament and they're done. It's like their yeah. their their head is gone. Like I remember uh, Paul Robinson, mm. uh, Le- Leeds and Spurs keeper, look not world class but like England number one, really solid, yeah. all like really solid all the time. Had a clanger and it was just done. Like yeah. it, his head went. Uh, you know Joe Hart. Similar. Joe Hart, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, That's like you, you, have, you have goalkeepers like this. Like, there's there's been others that I, I can't have. Like Scott Carson, I think was similar. Rob you Green, know, Rob Green as well. Like, yeah, you, you, we obviously see it like more from the England keepers, but it seems like a, a real disproportionate amount of players that will have a bad few games and just never get back to where they were. Like, it's just, yeah, it's like their their confidence is gone. It's it's like a player who's done his cruciate, like never trusts his knee again. It's like a keeper's yeah. brain's broken. <laughs> he just doesn't <laughs> trust himself anymore. He just doesn't think he can do the thing. Like, so I don't know where he goes though. The uh, hey, like I've got a lot of love for the guy. Like I say, he's. I still think he goes down as a bit of a United legend for being mm, absolutely for being he do. so as good as he was at a period where we were so bad. I was going to say there was a period where De Gea felt like the one bright spark in what was a pretty shoddy period for United, like that sort of Moyes, Van Hal, Mourinho era. Mm. Like I remember. The best things about those United teams usually was the higher. You like most weeks you'd come away from United game going, God, they were crap. How good's the higher? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. and hundred percent. I, I think very sad how it, I think it's quite sad how it's ended with the whole like 
they offered him a new deal and then withdrew it oh, at the last yeah. minute and stuff. Like, just a real lack of class. And Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. Like, like, granted, I think his time was up and I think he should have gone. Mm. I don't, there's no way it should, it should have gone the way that it did. Like, no. like you say, pulling a contract offer off the table, you know, not you know, not get, having a chance even just like to say goodbye, like, or having a, you know, a, a farewell game or something. Like, mm. it's, it was all very. Yeah, it's messy, it just, it's left, it? yeah, messy. It's left a bad taste in my mouth about it. Yeah, so you shouldn't treat players that have given twelve years to the club. Oh yeah, you shouldn't treat them like that. No, uh, definitely no, no not. matter how how much they fell off at the end. 